Hey guys, welcome to Mad for Science channel. So, some years ago, I tried to make a FM transmitter as a project. So I searched online and get a few circuit diagrams. So I choose one and build the FM transmitter on the basis of that circuit. When I tested the circuit, it doesn't work. And I don't have any way to measure whether the circuit is producing any radio frequencies or not. I don't have oscilloscope and I don't have any special equipment for that. I only have a multimeter that can measure voltages pretty accurately. So I search online again to use my multimeter as a radio detector. So I found some diagrams of a radio detector which uses multimeter as a display. This is the circuit diagram of that circuit that I have used in my multimeter. I only removed these components from the circuits. Instead of using OA91 diodes, I used 1N4148 diodes and the rest of the circuitry are the same. Here I have opened the multimeter and this circuit here, this is the part which does the actual job of measuring radio frequencies. The circuit consists of two diodes and two capacitors and a switch. On the positive terminal first goes to a switch and then to a input terminal of the multimeter and the negative, negative terminal of the circuit goes to the common terminal of the multimeter. I will assemble the multimeter and we will see how it performs. I have assembled the multimeter use it as a normal multimeter but to use it as a RF detector you first have to put the knob at 200 millivolt or 2 millivolt I prefer the 200 millivolt and then you have to turn the switch on it will turn on the RF measurement function since I don't have a working FM transmitter with me so I will use this relay I configured as an oscillator. I will show how to make this relay in another video. Uh, let's see how it performs. Relay oscillate, it creates tiny sparks and the sparks generate radio frequencies all over the spectrums and this will, pick, and this will be picked up by our multimeter. The multimeter closer to the relay and then I will turn the relay on. It will show a reading in the multimeter display. It gets off scale, so I will put the knob in 2 volt division. And now you will see the voltage reading on the screen. It gets around 600 millivolts, 700. So you can see it shows us the reading of the RF frequencies coming RF strengths coming from the relay. We will do more experiment with that multimeter in future. Uh, this is how I modified my old multimeter. If you like this video and want to see more videos like that, please like the video and consider subscribing and share with your friends. It will really help me to grow this channel and wish all of you guys a very happy new year.